It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. It is Manchester United up against Celtic. Well, we started with 32 teams, Derek. Seems like an eternity ago. Now we're down to the best two. I've not played in Champions League final. I surely wish I was playing tonight. Turn the clock back and let me run out there, please. And this is it, the final of the UEFA Champions League. It's where everyone wants to be. Only two sides can accomplish that feat. And Lee, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens tonight. Well, it is. It's the big part of it. It will be after the game. But as players, it's very difficult to try and stay in the moment and not get carried away. And that's the job of the senior players in the dressing room, but also the coach. Look around your team, see the calm ones, have a word with them, get them to pass the message on. Stick to the game plan, go out and win the game. David Turnbull. Christie. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, if I'm a teammate of this lad, I want to get the ball to him as often as I can because he's a safe pair of hands. Give him the ball, normally something happens. The link-up play between the different departments of the team is second to none. Fred. And Rashford. Fred with it. Edinson Cavani now. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Hudson Edouard. Wants to attack from the wide areas. Cavani. And a throw in it's going to be. Christopher Ayer. Odson Edouard. United regaining possession. Fred. It's with McTominay. Tremendous ball played through. Chance to finish. And that is defending of the highest order. Taylor. Very good interception. Fred. Edinson Cavani now. Scott McTominay. And we are on the move again. United enjoying the bulk of possession here. But I don't think the manager or the fans will be too happy with this performance. It's all been a little bit too slow, too pedestrian. They need to find another gear if they're going to go on and win this. Turnbull. Fruitful looking attack. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Fred. Edinson Cavani now. And fed forwards. And you need your defender to take charge. Fred. Cavani. Well read to ease the pressure. Christie. Turnbull. And that signals the end of a tight, tense first half. We're still waiting, Lee, for someone or something to kickstart this. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory.
The second half of the Champions League final begins. Hudson Edouard. Here's McGregor. Taylor. And Edouard with it. Christie. And given away. Bruno Fernandes. Can they hit on the break? Now that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Callum McGregor. McGregor. Taylor. Christie. A nicely cut out. David Turnbull. Christopher Ayer. Turnbull. Take it away. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Fred. Maguire. Here's Luke Shaw. Bruno Fernandes. Scott McTominay. Cavani. Bruno Fernandes has it. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. Bruno Fernandes. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Christie. Christie. So 20 minutes to go. Callum McGregor. Turnbull. Now with Ryan Christie. David Turnbull. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Christie. Callum McGregor. Can they convert? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Mason Greenwood. Cavani. Manchester United on the front foot in the closing moments. Can they find a winner? Rashford. Here's Cavani. It looks promising. Sends it back. McTominay. Mason Greenwood. It's with McTominay. Greenwood. Options in the middle. McTominay. Here's Juan Bissaka. They really look after the ball when they have it. Cavani. Well, no way through. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is... And the drama continues. We're now into the first period of extra time tonight, Lee. Well, this 30 minutes now is going to separate the weak ones from the strong ones. Let's see who wins. Cavani. It's now with Van der Beek. Mason Greenwood. And possession lost, intercepted. Nothing in it, Derek, is that just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? A 
but it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Christie. Tom Rogic. Odson Edouard. Here's McGregor. Well, there to intercept. Bruno Fernandes. Donny van der Beek. And successfully cut out. And we will have just one additional minute. Far from a good pass. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. And the ball's gone. Here's Luke Shaw. Fred with it. Bruno Fernandes. On to Van der Beek. Van der Beek. Fred. Precise ball movement. Still level here, but Manchester United making a push near the end. Well, here we see it again, some lovely quality passing, fluid as you like, and then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Ayer. Lee Griffiths. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. They've got to be really much. And now the whistle they all wanted to hear. Manchester United have painted the Champions League red. Losers and winners. The story here. United have done it. Well, arguably the biggest club side in the world. Win the biggest club competition in the world. A great team effort. This really is a team effort. From one to 11, every one of them have done their job tonight. It's a proud moment for any footballer. And they know what's about to occur. The presentation of old Big Earsley. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure that's a very nice title for that trophy. It's a brilliant trophy and the captain now He's going to get possibly the best moment of his career, the chance to lift the Champions League. Manchester United have the cup.